Welcome you guys to Butler Kennel Rockwallers, man. I told you guys we had a special surprise for you guys. And by special surprise, I mean what you guys been asking me for over and over and over again. You guys love to see the dogs with the cows and the beef and how my dogs get so well, so well together while enjoying the big old beast. So today we decided to, uh, with the help of Chad, uh, we decided today to go ahead and do a nice uh, big old dinosaur. So we have this big old dinosaur um, already uh, dehided. That's my word. Stick with that. So today we got the big old cow dehided. Um, so we're going to um, we're gonna let some dogs out to enjoy some some of the good old food. Um, I was gonna try to get the puppies out first, I think, but the puppies gonna probably just come on, follow me right quick. Let's get some. Of that, uh, So what I'm gonna do is, so this, like I said, you see that when they're going, they're hungry right now. Now this that fajita, see, she's smart. She eating that, that nice tender meat right here. It's that tender meat. What's up, mama? So yes, they all can eat together in peace. They always say, never let more than one dog out at a time because it causes them to want to fight and all that kind of stuff. But of course, when you're the alpha, you let them know, hey, this is what we eat in harmony, man. We, we eat in harmony. Uh, you guys already seen the videos where my kids are in there. We can get down with our dogs as well. Um, what's up, mama? You want that piece right there? That piece right there. It's nice and beefy. Now, sometimes you will hear like some growls. Like, arr, arr. That's not fighting. That's just letting them know like, hey, this is my piece right here. Let me eat my piece, you know. You don't want nobody messing with you when you're eating all your food and stuff. You stop, come on, come on, get a little closer with it. Because they don't really want to see me. They really want to see the cows. They just want to hear me talk or whatever, but they want to see the cows. So, a lot of times is you'll hear the growling, you hear the little... Arr. And then sometimes they're doing it by themselves because they just like frustrated trying to tear it all pieces. So we got big old mama like this. Even while they're eating, we go with our dog. Come on. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions is people always say, blood makes your dog mean and makes it aggressive. But then we, we kill that narrative every time because we put all our dogs together and let them all eat at the same time. You don't see the aggression there. Let me get some other ones in there. It's gonna be on that. Yeah. Yeah.
everybody's feeling everybody right now. Because, yeah, we got females and all this kind of good stuff. Right now. like to do sometimes is they'll come in here you're going to see them eat all this food and what they're going to do afterwards is they're going to chew it up and then they're going to regurgitate it for the puppies to eat it's all nature all natural it's what they do and then we're going to bring the little puppies out let the puppies go out and have a hand with them as well too and she's like hopes like hey that's Hope right there. She's like, yo, Terry, this is a piece. I want that big old leg. Anybody think a little meat running away with it? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I got females in heat right now, so I don't want to put too many females out like in heat and stuff in this as well. Because I'm missing males out at the same time, so we be responsible. Uh, as far as that goes. Here we got the got some of the younger puppies here now. The little ones are now including with the big dogs. So you know they always like the bigger ones. Sometimes you gotta they gotta show them. You gotta let them see how see she gonna take hers and go with hers. Like hey, got my dinner piece and gone. One of the younger little puppies here, little four month olds. They're like yeah, this is their first time actually out with the puppies. Well, the puppy's out first time with the big dogs as well. So you kind of see that they are going in on it, man. Big old dinosaur. I'm telling you guys, for the longest, this is how it is. Natural. Hand me that, hand me that knife on that um, water hose. So we got a lot more younger puppies and everybody here as well. But the reason we're not doing it right now is simply because, like I said, we have females that are in heat. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is actually, hold that. What I'm gonna do right now is actually on the on the thick thighs, I'm gonna make some X's in it. Just, I mean, as you can see, give me See, even while they're in the middle of eating their food, she goes back. And my pan right there, she gonna stop. <laughs> she's like, she's hungry, so she gonna wait. But watch it. It's gonna help you out for a second. What I'm doing here is actually just slicing the beef up for her a little bit. Now I don't have to do this at all, as you can see, but it makes her they can tear it up a little bit easier when it's cold. Go ahead closer and then they let them see it. allow you guys to hey man I can just watch these dogs eat this all day long. So we want you guys to be able to enjoy it. Now 
don't want to cut the belly open because all that stuff's going to come out right now. So, And I don't really have time to really try to... I ain't really trying to uh, bust all open right now. Let that be the last part. Because actually, believe it or not, the part in the inside is so much healthier for them. It's really healthy for them. Man. Florida, what are you doing by Chad? <laughs> she's Florida sitting by Chad like, hey, she thinks she's going to get some extra free pieces or whatever. Like, yo. <laughs> We got Evie Eve on here. And they always like, you can't put your hand in your mouth while they're eating and all this stuff, and they get aggressive. And like, you see them teeth? Those are real teeth right there. You can put my hand, I can put my hand all in the mouth and stuff, I'm telling you. But then she go right back to eating right there, like that. See, while she's eating, I can get real close. Don't mind. All that gimmick people talk about, their dogs. <laughs> Got the youngest one barking now. See how that one snapping at the big dogs? Like, you see how she just moves over like, hey, I ain't got no problem. Cause she knows we ain't supposed to be barking. A little puppy first time out here with the other dogs. Little four month olds. Got one, two, and three. These are my personal dogs, you guys, so. Don't. Now, why is she trying to bury the meat over there? See that over there? Look what is she doing over there? <laughs> trying to bury a piece of meat over there. Trying to hide it from later. All this meat, we trying to hide it. So this is what we do at Butler Kino Rottweilers, man. Uh, these dogs are enjoying their good old beefy beef. So some of you guys are like, oh my God, you got a cow up there. Next time you're eating your burger, remember this. The same thing that comes off of your cheeseburger at McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, whichever one you like, your fajita meats and all that stuff. It's just showing you the whole thing, so. What's up, big girl? What's up, man? You doing good? See, people are like, oh my God, put your face next to it and you get issues and all. Don't you lick me because your mouth is bloody. <laughs> Move it. Nope, nope. I told you, see, she wants y'all kisses. Eat your food, girl. See you, man. <laughs> see, she done got the guts from the back, so they eating that now already. I'm like, yep. Some of the good pieces. Eve got smart. Eve laying down like, yo. Well, she was laying down like, eating peace. I know, kind of as well. Now I gotta go find all the buried meat. Why? All this meat here. Lala! Lala! Let me see what you got right there. Let me see what you got right there. Let me see what you got right there. No, dirty. Took a really nice chunk of meat off. Saving it for later. But I don't want to give them this all full of dirt. Now what I will do is this. I'm going to show you what okay? this. Matter of fact, I'll come right back. I'll come right back. Hide. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it to the little puppies over there though while they're now they're really young so I don't want them to get too trampled over when a big dog kind of eat. Let me have that right quick, come on. Cause I'll make a video off of them at one time. Everybody's feasting like the Last Supper right now. What's up, mama? You got your food? You want no more? Y'all done? Eve, you good? Eve, come here, Eve. Now this is my girl Eve. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I love this Eve. Now, right? I named her Eve from the rapper uh, Rough Riders. Big, beautiful girl. 
just fit so big every time. Right? Loosen this up a little bit. Uh, yeah, really got too good. Show them, show them how you look, baby girl. Show them that big, beautiful look. I see you, Tess. So, as they're eating this big old meat, man, big old beef, as they're eating this beef over here, you got me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna let them go ahead and enjoy this because we'll be here all day with this here as well. Um, and then I'll let some more dolls come out later on and then I'll show the puppies first time really out here I think the little puppies are actually ready for the, for the meat as well too. So they, ain't, they haven't uh, They haven't gotten out here yet, but it's a good little training tool as you see the big dogs With the little puppies over here and what they're doing and the reason why I do it like this is because you're introducing them To show them the right way how to tear it open how to eat it and as they learn the skills of what not to do like you notice she was the one that was barking at the, the other bigger dogs and the bigger dogs just kind of like walked away like, hey, I don't want that problem. Dad knows not to, dad already told us already we don't bark at each other or whatever. So they're getting used to it. Um, it's all like a learning skills. Dogs pick up what other dogs are doing as well too. So like Khaleesi right now, she's in here. She's gonna tear her little meat off. And it, you, may not, you may not seem like they're actually paying attention but they're gonna pay attention. Sometimes you'll see them stop. Like the other big dogs around here, what they're doing, the little dogs are actually following them. And when they're walking around, they're gonna walk around. And they eat, they eat as well too. So, it's all a big old learning curve for everybody right now, man. So, you guys want to see it? I give it to you guys. Come in the light, come over here. Let's guess, can you see, there was a dark over here? Okay. It's brighter now though. Mm -hmm. yeah, like this bright light here. But this is what you guys have been asking to see. This is what I'm going to give you guys, man, every time, all the time. So I'm very appreciative of you guys. Thank you guys very much, man, for over 130-something thousand subscribers right now. Let's go ahead and get it up before the end of the year. Let's run it up, run it up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this or whatever kind of content you want to see, message below. Tell me where you guys are watching my videos from. You guys know I love giving my shout-out to all the big states that's been representing this month or this week i'm telling you now florida has been florida has been it florida has been it so big shout out to florida and everybody representing florida right now um but we are located in texas a lot of people ask me man what's your name where you're at all that stuff i have an 843 area code phone number but we are i'm from south carolina but we have always been stationed and located in texas um if you want a dog give us a call 843 Six seven zero three three four six. We're located in Gatesville, Texas. For anybody out here that wants the quality dog, they ain't no gimmicks, man. They ain't no paws. It ain't none of that stuff in these videos you see. Um, it ain't none of that fake stuff, man. Everybody's trying to like copy, imitate a little bit. But you see them videos getting sliced. You see them videos getting cut off. You see those videos. And if they're doing the videos, they're doing it such in a stage area where it's so safe at. You don't see nobody doing this. Um, but not to be concerned with anybody else, we just like setting the bar high for others to follow and they could be great as well too. But anyway, if you're looking for a dog, 843-670-3346. Butler Kennel Rock Wallace, remember to treat each other right and we are out. Deuces.